everyone today we will learn about font style tags in html so this is a notepad in this notepad we have written html tag then head title the title of the page will be font style we have closed title closed head and started body so inside the body i want to make use of these three tags b i and u so these three tags are known as font style tags these three are also known as the physical markup now what is the use of b i and u remember these three tags are the container tags so b makes the text bold i it displays the text in italics u underlines the text so we will save it and run and see what are the outputs click on file i'll click on save i'll click desktop file name i'll give any name say page dot html click save close it and here somewhere we will see page so this when i double click see it gets opened in notepad but i want to open in any of the browsers so in this case what will i do select right click open with any browser so i'll click with i'll open with chrome see so b makes the text bold i displays the text in italics and underline underlines the text so these are the three use of these three font style tags next if i want to display another line suppose let me make this capital okay so now i want to display this line here as it is written in this page i want to display it as it is so first let me make this bold and also underline underline i want to close it here and for this word i again want to underline and after this i will close here okay so these three line these three lines were already displayed this line i want to display it now click on file save again open chrome it was already displayed so we will refresh and see it is displayed in the same continuous line but while writing in the notepad we wrote it in a different style so in the very first class we have learned that html was meant for only displaying and the tags that we are using inside html helps us to display the way we want to see our text in the web browser or in the web page so since i want to see this line here i have to write br so after writing br this line will be displayed immediately in the next line let us see what happens click on file save and refresh now see it is displayed immediately in the next line but if i want some gap between these two lines then what will i do instead of br i will use paragraph and somewhere here i need to close paragraph click on file save see i hope the difference is clear next we will learn about two attributes today 
as we can see in this web page the text are displayed from the extreme left hand side corner and from the top of the web page now if i want to set a margin margin means the edge the space from this till the text is known as the margin it may be from the top it may be from the left now since i want to set the margin for the web page i will include those two attributes inside the body tag so inside body let me first write one by one the attribute is top margin and suppose the value of top margin if i give 50 let us see what will be the new output this was the previous one after giving top margin equal to 50 this is the margin that is set because i am using top margin the space will be left from the top of the web page another attribute we have which is the left margin left margin also suppose the value i want to give it as suppose 60 i want click on file save and refresh and see so this is the margin that is set for the web page beyond this our text cannot be displayed so after the margin only the text will start to display so i hope these two things font style tags or physical markup and the two attributes which are mostly used with the body tag are top margin and left margin these th two things are clear to you